everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Jessica, also known as Chic Professor on Instagram, and I make videos on luxury goods, sustainable fashion, and workwear. Today's video is going to be all about the Celine Nano. This is my Nano. I've had this for, I want to say like two and somewhere between like two and a half and four years. I can't remember exactly. I'm pretty sure I bought it in 2017 or 2018. I think 2018. So I think it's about two and a half to three years old. And I bought it pre-loved. So this one is actually, I have to go back and watch my video that I made when I when I got this bag. But I wanna say this one is from somewhere around like 2012 to 2015. I don't remember exactly what year this came out, but this was one of the first editions of this bag. So the bag has held up beautifully well for being as old as it is, even if, whether it's five years old or whether it's eight years old, I'm not really sure, but it is a really beautiful bag and it has held up really well. So what I want to talk to you all today about is if I should sell it. I know I just explained it. it's like so great. I want to go through the pros and cons with you and I'd love your thoughts on the matter. So first things first, this bag has gained a resurgence of popularity. There has certainly been a core group of people who have loved it all the way through and continue to recommend it. I joined Amy from Chase Amy's bag chat group on Facebook a couple of years ago, and this bag was recommended all the time. And I had always thought this bag was kind of funny looking with the little robot face, and I, I didn't think I could ever not see that. And I wasn't really sure it was ever gonna be for me, but I just kept hearing people recommend it and recommend it and recommend it. And so I was like, okay, well, you know what? I want a casual black crossbody bag. I will go check it out. So I went and checked it out at the Real Real. They didn't have it in this color when I went to see it, but I tried it on and I kind of felt the bag and I was like, you know what? Actually, this, this would be a good one for me. So then I found a great deal pre-left. I authenticated all that jazz, made that, made that video about it being an older style because I wasn't, it looked a little different than the current version. Then a few months later, <laughs> Phoebe Philo left Celine and there was all of this talk about whether this bag was going to get discontinued and then it got um, just like people were clamoring for it and they couldn't get their hands on it because they were nervous it was going to be discontinued. It wasn't discontinued but that like bump in popularity has kind of maintained and for some reason the price on the pre-loved market has stayed pretty high. So I bought at a really good time and now I'm basically wondering if I should sell at a really good time while it's still as high as it is. I have enjoyed it for many years. I have enjoyed it for many years and I don't have another bag specifically on my wish list that I would want to replace this with, but I'm also not entirely sure if I need this bag. So yeah, I wanna go through pros and cons with you. So that's kind of the background of the story and why I am thinking through maybe making this decision. So pros of this bag, it's really practical. It's small, but it actually fits a lot. I added an insert in it and that made a huge difference in, in keeping it kind of upright. And also it has little pockets in it. So that helps to organize your things because it is kind of a black hole, but it does fit a lot. It's really comfortable. The leather is still like kind of flexible. So it's really comfortable to carry. And I think it's a great size crossbody. It looks really nice on the body. It's been fun to wear casually because the leather is really durable, which has been nice. And it's also been fun to wear casually because it is kind of recognizable. So people who know what this bag is are always like, oh, I like your bag or, oh, I love the Nano or, or something like that. So I do appreciate that aspect of it, that it's not in your face luxury, but if you know it, then you know it and it's and it's a and it's a fun like kind of like bonding moment when I'm shopping or something like that. So those are the pros of this bag. I also find that the strap is very comfortable. I never wear it with the strap off, but I do always of course appreciate a satchel. That's my favorite shape, so my favorite silhouette of a bag. So top handle, I wear it top handle or I wear it crossbody, um, but I always leave the strap on it. So those are the pros. The cons of this bag for me are that I don't find it as versatile as other bags because I really only consider it a casual bag. Also think that because it is so unique, I guess, and it does have this little robot face, that it is going to lose its popularity at some point. I've never considered this a classic bag and I've never considered this a forever bag in my collection. 
So I think those are a lot of the reasons why I'm leaning towards maybe selling it. I do still use it, it is still nice. However, I'm not really going out all that often right now and I don't really expect to for a while. So will by the time I wanna actually really wear this around again and not just style it for pictures, is it going to have lost its popularity and am I going to lose a bunch of money that I would make on it if I sold it now? So those are kind of my questions, right? I do, I do expect at some point in the next few years to sell this bag and replace it with something else. I don't need to fill that gap right away. I have my Lady Dior. If I want a similar sized black bag, it's a little bit bigger, but not a ton. I have my Mulberry Darley if I want something that's smaller that can go crossbody. And then I have my Kuyana just like leather pouch that is my super casual bag and it's been my pandemic bag. That's all I've worn during the pandemic. I also have this little Gucci bag, which is really just a shoulder bag, but again, it's like the same size. And then my, and then I have, you know, non-black bags. So I've talked about the Mulberry Mini Zip Base Water and considered getting that in black. It came up on the pre lift market for a good price, though it was missing a strap and I just didn't jump on it. I just didn't feel like I really needed it. And I didn't necessarily want that bag in two different colors and I really like the color that I have. So I would want it to be some other bag than I do already have in my collection. So those are all the thoughts that I have right now on this. I know a lot of people still really love this bag and I, and I like this bag still. I don't think I've ever truly loved it. It's never been one of my like absolute top must-haves in my collection but I have enjoyed wearing it and I have worn it quite a bit so yeah I could keep it and wear it for a few more years and get more wear out of it or I could sell it now what I don't want to do is sell it in six months or in a year when I haven't really worn it much and then uh, it's lost some of its value it could also gain more value right we never really know with supply and demand but my thought is that it will lose some of its value on the pre market at some point soon. Yeah, that is kind of where my head is at. And I'd really love to know what you all think about this. I, I really value your opinions and I hope that you can help me kind of figure this out. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video. Bye.